Hi, this is Greg Benz with an overview of the completely revamped sharpening features in Lamentia 1.3. Uh, Lamentia has always had a, a sharpen option, but in version 1.3 I've redesigned it from the ground up using a high pass filter technique. It's much faster, it's visual, and it's now a non-destructive option for sharpening your images. And I'll, I'll show what I mean by that with this demo. So uh, with this image here, if I want to just sharpen it, click the sharpen button. It's going to create a high pass uh, layer for me. It is set to vivid light, which you could change to overlay if that's your preference. Um, and then uh, Lumenzi will automatically recommend a sharpening value, in this case, 2.9 pixels based on the resolution of this image. If this was a smaller, lower resolution image, then it would recommend less of a radius and if it was a larger higher resolution image then it would recommend more sharpening and I find that the default usually works really well in my images but uh, sometimes I might want to change that and you can always override that and in this case uh, for the sake of demo and because this is an image that can be pushed a little further I'm going to just slide that further to the right a little over 10 is probably pretty good here um, and one thing you do want to avoid is the far right side of the high pass filter here, it, it produces some unnatural results. So stick to lower values. I'd say typically less than 20 is, is great. Probably, you know, two to 10 ish oftentimes. So click OK. It's going to create my layer. It made a note of the radius that we use. So that's a handy little reference. And usually once I've done sharpening, I want to mask it. Um, and so I'm going to Alt click for a black mask here, grab my paintbrush, and just start painting white in the areas that. I want to, to sharpen within the image here. So that way I'm not gonna sharpen shadows or other areas that I don't want to, uh, to touch there. So, and then this is a little bit, I think, too sharp. So I'll probably take the opacity down a little bit. And that's pretty, pretty good. If we look at the before and after, we can see there's a lot more detail in the rock here. And as I said, I pushed it a little bit for far for this demo. I probably wouldn't do this quite as much, but I'll make it easy to see on YouTube. Now, as we look at this image, there's one issue, and that is there's a tripod in the background here. And so I need to get rid of that. But the problem is the sharpening layer actually contains data from the original image. So if I change this, I'm also gonna have to change the sharpening layer, and I'll show how we do that. So first, let's just zoom in here, and we'll get rid of this on the underlying layer by hitting Shift Delete, and using Content Aware Fill on our selection, and it improved it, but obviously we see that there's still a tripod there. And the reason is this sharpening layer, as we look at with it on and off, that's where that is coming from. The underlying image uh, looks pretty good. I'd probably do some more work to get that content aware filled just right, but really the issue is the sharpening layer. So we need to, to fix that and get rid of that ghosting. And the way we'll do that is to click on the, on the sharpen layer, click the sharpen button again, and Lumenzi detects that you have an existing sharpening layer and asks if you want to update it. So I just click yes, and we'll see right off the bat, it's already updated the underlying pixel data to fix that issue. And then it's popped back up with a radius. So I can hit okay to keep the, the radius that I have, or I could change the amount of sharpening if I want to. In this case, I'm just gonna say okay, I think it looks great. And we've kept our opacity, we've kept our mask, we've just updated the pixel layers here. And with that, we now have a really nice sharpening effect and we can continue to make changes beneath and at any point just click the sharpen button to update that so it's effectively a non-destructive uh, filter with this. Now if you are using luminosity masks on the image here of course luminosity masks are also impacting are also impacted by changes in the underlying pixel data and so you you may want to update them as well for example you might use a, a lights mask to avoid sharpening the, the shadows well, the, uh, the sharpen feature is not going to assume that you want to update the mask because you may have made all sorts of custom adjustments like I did here. The way you can do that is just simply temporarily hide this layer, click on whatever luminosity mask you want, select the, the mask you need to update, and just hit remask. And that's going to load that up. So obviously this is a different mask than I started with, but that's how you would update a luminosity mask if you wanted to update that in addition to the uh, the actual sharpening layer. So that's the uh, all new sharpening feature in Lumenzia 1.3. Uh, it's super fast, looks great, um, completely visual, and the, uh, the non-destructive editing for me is a huge time saver. So hope you enjoy it.